Now, we will learn about the concept of personal budget. A personal budget is a finance plan that allocates future personal income towards expenses, savings and debt repayment. Past spending and personal debt are considered when creating a personal budget. There are several methods and tools available for creating, using and adjusting a personal budget. It is the estimate of costs, revenues and resources over a specified period. For a specific individual, that is used to properly plan for known current and future financial items. To create a personal budget, an individual will usually take the following steps. Number 1. Identify how much money will be received during the budget period. Number 2. Evaluate all possible expenses. Number 3. Plan accordingly so that he or she stays with the budgetary restraints established. Here, we will gain some insight into 12 steps of making budget by a first-timer. The first step is to decide to start a budget. The decision about making a budget is helpful for an individual as it makes a person more responsible due to which he starts valuing money and hence saving it. The second step is to know how much you have. If you have savings, checking accounts, investment accounts or any other financial instruments, you will want to know how much money is in each account as well as the interest rates and expenses of each one. Make note of this information as it will become important in determining your net worth and the best use of your capital in the future. The third step is to know how much you make. Those on a salaried pay scale can easily find their monthly income. For early employees or those who work in a business where income may rise and fall unpredictably, this can be much more difficult. The most important consideration regardless of how you earn your monthly income is to determine the average monthly amount of income that you receive. The next step is to know what you owe. This should be fairly simple to do as long as you have stopped incurring additional debt in the short term. After that, you have to determine your net worth. Just subtract what you owe from what you have and you will derive a number. This number will tell you the value of your financial resources. The next step is to determine your average recurring monthly expenses. The best way to determine your monthly expenses is to make a stack of household expenses for a month. Keep your receipts, your utility bills and any other expense that arises during a one-month period and divide these bills into categories. The categories can be as general or as specific as you want them to be. The seventh step is to enter this information in a database. This helps in remembering the entries made by an individual in a database and makes a person more responsible towards money. Continuing with the steps of preparing budget for the first timers, the eighth step is to look at the bottom line. This number will tell you whether you are overspending or underspending. Ideally, during this step, you will find that you are living within your means and maybe will even have a little left over on a monthly basis. On the flip side, you may determine you must make adjustments to your monthly expenses in order to live within your means. The next step is to make adjustments accordingly. If the bottom line of your budget proved that you are overspending your monthly income, you will come to the most difficult step, making cuts to your monthly expenses. This will help you in reducing your wasteful expenses to some extent. Next step comes to make categories based on realities. Life is full of surprises. Food gets more expensive. Gas prices rise. And rent can get hiked when you least expect it. Each time you notice inflation creeping up on your expense categories, you must adjust your categorical expenses based on the realities of the world around you. Then comes the turn off pay yourself first. To pay yourself first means simply this before you pay your bills, before you buy groceries, before you do anything else, set aside a portion of your income to save. The first bill you pay each month should be to yourself. The last step is to track, monitor and be disciplined. The budget should be monitored regularly throughout the year, quarterly, monthly or even weekly. Reviewing the budget will help you identify problems before they cost you too much time or money.